guys, loads of 98 here and welcome to my 500 subscribers Q&A video. So I got a total of 14 questions which I'm pretty pleased about, seeming as I was only aimed for 10. So that's 4 more extra to add into this video, so let's get underway. So the first question is from Niakara, can I see your face, only me, mwahaha. No. <laughs> Unless I get to like 10k I'm probably not going to show my face if I ever get that far. Uh, so yeah that's it really. Moving on to Daniel Saf's question, he says, What's your overall favourite loadout on Killzone Mercenary, like your primary, secondary, vanguard and armour? So my favourite primary weapon, I normally use the M82, which is the first weapon, or the Star 52 SE, which is the second primary weapon. They're two great weapons. For secondary, um, I usually find myself using a tranquilizer gun because it's fun to troll people. And uh, I sometimes use a rocket launcher if I'm angry because it just gets me easy kills. Um, and I sometimes use the LS-18, which is an armor-piercing full auto gun, which is really good for killing people with blast armor and uh, ballistic armor. For the Vanguard, I often use Mantis Engine, just because I'm guaranteed at least 5 kills. And uh, that's it, really. And I also use a Proximity Mine. And we have another question from Mr. Double C this time. Uh, he says, will you still be playing Killzone Mercy with Jordan? And if they do, some subscribers. Uh, okay, that kind of makes sense. Uh, yeah, I will be still doing Killzone Mercenary with Jordan. Me and Jordan are really good friends on PSN. We love to have a laugh on Killzone. So definitely, I will be making more. And uh, I'm thinking of doing some with subscribers as well. So I hope that's answered the question. Okay, so this is my third attempt answering this question. I've tried to answer it twice before and I had to keep editing it out. I'm really struggling to answer this. Why do you do Vita gameplays rather than other consoles? So I'm going to put this really, really clearly. One, I only have a Vita, and two, Vita is unique and original. Okay, most gaming channels, oh yeah, COD and FIFA, it's nothing different. Whereas by doing Vita, not many people um, have Vita channels, and it's something a little bit different. So I hope that answers your question. Uh, moving on to Minecraft and Minions question. Thoughts on Taylor Swift? Now originally I didn't think she was that fit, but she's pretty fit, so yep, that's my thoughts on her. Wenski asks, what is your real name and how old are you? I'm 15 and I'm not going to tell you my real name. <laughs> uh, maybe in the future I will. So, Raze Mahmood asks, could you please do reviews of Vita games, please? And I love your vids, so don't stop doing these Vita gameplays. I'm not going to stop doing Vita gameplays and I'm thinking of doing some reviews. The only problem is I sometimes get muddled up when I'm talking and I might end up saying the same thing over and over again. So if I was to do reviews, it'd probably be if I got a couple more hundred subscribers uh, and I'd have, probably have to plan out what I'm going to say beforehand. So moving on to Halo Pro's question, why do you start YouTube and why name it Loads at 98? Well the reason I started YouTube is because I had an old uh, channel I used to do little animations on and that was when I was a lot younger. And uh, I quit that channel, it wasn't really going anywhere, and I didn't understand YouTube much at the time. It was back when they had very, very old channel layouts. And, um, yeah, about a year or two back, I just thought, you know, I'd love to have a YouTube channel again, so I made another one. And then, of course, I bought my Vita, and uh, that went from there. And why did I name it Loza98? Well, the reason I named it Loza98, I think I think it, YouTube might have suggested it, I'm not sure. But uh, my old name I was going to use got taken. Um, and I was kind of like, mm, what sounds cool, low Z, and eventually I figured out low Z and then put 98 at the end, and it was easy. At, at first I thought I wasn't going to remember it, but uh, now I'm really glad I did it because it's quite a cool name. So I hope that answers your question, and let's move on to Creeperzilla64. He asks, can you add me on PSN? Yes, but I'm not going to tell you my PSN. Uh, well, actually, no. If you inbox me, um, I will give you my PSN. Uh, when you send me your friend request, do make sure you add a note saying YouTube fan, otherwise I do delete blank requests. So, hope that has answered your question. Let's move on to the Penguin Graphics. How did you learn to be a graphic designer? Now, this is a really, really good question. Um, it all started back in about August 2012. I always used to have a program called GIMP. I used to sort of do little things on it, make text and that, and I used to really enjoy it. And... Um, yeah, I used to make myself really simple, simple backgrounds, and then I started watching KSI's videos, I saw his background, and that's how I found out about Rob Stellini, his designer, and uh, Rob Stellini's design, I used to look at them, and I used to be really inspired, and um, I thought, you yeah, know, I'd love to do something like that, so I started off, you know, doing my stuff, I went on a forum, I did work for free, 
I did a lot of free work. It got me really good. Well, I say really good. It got me to where I am now, so quite decent. Um, and it went from there, really, just sort of, you know, I thought, why not do it? And I just sort of practiced it. I did work for free, and I just got better and better, and here I am now. So I hope that answers your question. Moving on to Rough Road 27. Any other PS Vita games you're going to play? Yes. I was thinking about doing some Need for Speed videos, some more Little Big Planet videos, but uh, we've only got like a month or two until the games like Tearaway and Batman are out, so I'm going to wait for them and buy them and make some videos on them. So guys, thank you for all the questions. I have one more I need to go through, uh, and this one was sent to me on my PS Vita. I did add all of my fans who uh, I have on my PSM friend list, um, I did tell them about the video just in case I hadn't seen it. And somebody asked me a question there. So guys, the last question is from X the Ghost Sniper. What made you start YouTube and who inspired you? Now I kind of answered this um, last question. No, I think I think it was last question. Um, but what made me start YouTube? Well, I, I just wanted a new channel. I thought mm, I'd love to do YouTube again. And I started up a new channel, of course, when I got my Vita, I started making Vita videos. To be honest, I couldn't I couldn't go without YouTube now. I couldn't not have a YouTube channel. I just I couldn't imagine not having YouTube. You know, every day I'm checking my YouTube channel, seeing how it's going, um, reading everyone's comments, and it's really, really nice, and I'm never going to stop, really. And he said, who inspired you? Who inspired me? Well, at first... I kind of made Vita videos, and I wasn't really inspired by anyone, I just sort of made them. Um, at first, when I was making Vita videos, JJ the King, uh, JJ the King 10, uh, he's from Australia, he's really good. When I started YouTube, uh, when I had about 5 subscribers, I came across JJ the King, and he was another Vita channel, very small, he had 26 subscribers, and uh, I messaged him, I said, hey look, I've got this channel, and um, Ever since, he's, he's, he's always helped me out, liking my videos, checking them out. I check out his videos. His videos are really good, but he hasn't been very active lately, I think, uh, due to just his, uh, his social life, really, and everything. And um, But he's really good. He kind of inspired me with the PS Vita side and got me to you know, a good level. And then I started watching other Vita channels, like Mr. PS Vita Reviews. And uh, now I'm involved with people like Art Maze. I watch PS Vita Fever, and I like, I like people like that. Um, so they sort of inspired me, and my graphics side, I used to do a lot of graphics, uh, I used to upload a lot of speed arts. Um, I'd say Rob Cellini, people like Rob Cellini, Evan Eckard, really, really great designers like that. They have inspired me with my graphics side of my YouTube channel, and uh, yeah, I hope that answers your question. So guys, I've been loads of 90 yet, I'd just like to say a big, big thank you for all the questions. I uh, hope I haven't rambled on too much, I kind of feel like I... Uh, I kind of ramble a bit and I don't really make sense, but <laughs> there we go, that's me. Uh, thanks for all the questions, thanks for the support, thanks for 500 subscribers. I'm at 505 at the moment, which is awesome. Uh, I'm going to try and get some more videos done very, very soon. Uh, so guys, I've been Lozen98 and I will see you in the next video.